So the fact that they saying, pray for me, this youngster says, so pray for me. I said, inshallah, pray for you. May Allah, but I want you to be serious. Met him after some time. He says, Sheikh, you're not praying hard enough. I said, why? He says, because I still have a problem with my prayer. Can you look at how he's blackmailing me? Because he's not praying. Can you imagine? Pray for me because I have a weakness. I can't wake up for a fajr. And then when he meets you after some time, he says, but you're not praying for me because I'm still not getting up. You're not praying hard enough. Come on, man. Don't blame me. You, are you making an effort? If I meet you after 10 years and you say, pray for me, pray for me. That's not a good enough answer. It's not a good enough statement if it keeps repeating itself year in, year out. Together with prayer, an effort is required. Make an effort. You know your situation. Let people not be judgmental. You shouldn't be judgmental and let others not be judgmental. And if some are judgmental, don't take it seriously. It's okay. Le ignore them. Leave them. For as long as you know you're moving in a decent pace, and you're moving closer to Allah every day. Good news to you. Mashallah. Don't give up hope. So I told this youngster, I said, hey, listen, stop throwing the blame on me for your sin. You don't do that. And another thing, you must make an effort. Don't just say, inshallah, I will. Inshallah, I will. Make dua for me. Make dua for me. A guy addicted to a bottle, for example, and he, every time you say, make dua for me. You know what? I have make dua for me. It's not just dua. With dua, make an effort. I promise you the doctor... A few weeks ago, like two months ago, told me that, you know what, you need to make some changes because of your health. Not to say I have something major, but it was something that really got me concerned. I thought to myself, whoa, you know what, I travel a lot, I move a lot, we've got to make these changes. I decided, no carbs, no sugar, done, closed. Today, when I look at things, Okay, no means you do have a little bit of a cheat, but very little, you know. Not because I want it, but sometimes you can't avoid it. But otherwise, you come and present me some food, and I'll tell you, not this, not this, not this. When I met Brother Farhan earlier from Saffron, he said, well, should I change the menu? I said, not at all. Today is my cheat day, bro. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so Allah bless you guys. Wallahi, beautiful food. You can't come to Saffron and say, I'm on a diet, you know. But did you, know how the, did you notice how the word die is in diet? May Allah forgive them. I don't know how they think up these words. Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. But my brothers, my sisters, the point I'm raising is for health purposes, we made a big change. Nobody's going to come to me and say, Inshallah, one day I'll change. Inshallah, one day I'll change. The fact that the doctor told you, hey, if you don't make this change, that's it. And suddenly, oh, okay, okay, the change is made. What about Allah? Allah is telling you, hey, you better change. You know what? You don't know how long you're going to live for. Good news to those who are chosen by Allah to change their lives before they pass away. 